find the sum of series if the sum exists. So we have here a sum of negative 1 over 2 to power k from k equals 1 to infinity. So our sum is infinity because we have from k equals 1 to infinity. What next we have to do? We, will, we can rewrite the sum that this is equal. First we substitute k by 1 because we start from k equals 1. So negative 1 half we copy and k we substitute by 1. Plus. Next, we have to substitute k by 2, so we have negative 1 half to power 2 plus, next, negative 1 half to power 3 plus, negative 1 half to power 4, and so on, because this sum is going to infinity. We have the sum from k equals 1 to infinity. So. What next? We see here that we have terms that write that this is a1, a2, a3, and a4, and so on. First term, a1, is negative 1 half to first power, so this is negative 1 half. What else next? is negative 1 half to second, next to third, to four. So we see that we have here geometric progression. Why? Because every term after first we obtain by multiplying by the constant number, negative 1 half. How I calculate this? When we took two consecutive terms, for example, we can take R2 and A3. In geometric progression, the constant common ratio R is equal A3 over A2. We take two consecutive terms and we divide the second term by the first term. So this is equal negative one half to third power over negative one half to second power. So this is this was a third a second. So the same base, so we copy the base and what we have to do with the exponents? We have to subtract three minus two is one. So this is equal negative one half. If you take a4 and a3 will be the same a2 and a1. We, you will always find the calculate that r is equal negative one half. What next? When r absolute value of r is less than one, in our case r is negative one half, so negative one half is less than one. Absolute value of negative one half is one half is less than one. So we see that we have here infinity geometric series converges because r is less than 1. When we have infinity series geometric series converges, then we can calculate the sum. The sum exists only when absolute value of r is less than 1 and the sum is given by formula that s is equal a1 over 1 minus r. We have a1 is negative 1 half. 1 we copy r is negative 1 half. So we have negative sign to copy and in parentheses we have negative 1 half. So this is equal negative 1 half over negative and negative. So we have positive 1 plus 1 half is 3 over 2 division of fractions, so we can rewrite these two multiplications, so we have negative one half times, and we have to flip the second fraction, so it will be two over three. Now we can reduce two and two, so it will be one and one, so we have negative times positive, so it will be negative one over three. We found the sum of our infinity geometric series. The series is geometric with a1 equals negative one half, r equals negative one half, because absolute value of r is less than one, the series converges, 
and the sum is equal negative 1 over 3. This is my solution.